The question is the probability that Andy's score is greater than Bob's. Now I'm going to do a little bit of algebra here. I'm going to subtract that b to the other side. We need to find the probability that the difference between Andy minus Bob is greater than zero. If Andy's score is bigger than Bob's, this difference, well, will be greater than zero, and that means Andy did better. Now, to figure this problem out, we have to start off by finding the mean and standard deviation for this difference. So what is the mean for the difference Andy minus Bob? Well, I just have to take Andy's score, 150, minus Bob's score, 165, and I get negative 15. So the difference between Andy and Bob is supposed to be negative 15, meaning that Andy is supposed to do 15 pins worse than Bob. What about the standard deviation? Well, remember, we cannot combine standard deviations. We are allowed to combine variance. So we have 30 squared. That's the variance for Andy. And then we have 15 squared, that's the variance for Bob, and we're going to add, because even though the problem is focusing on the difference, variance always builds up. Then we're going to take a square root of all that variance to get back to standard deviation. And we get 33.541. So now that we know the mean and the standard deviation for what we're looking for, now we have to create a model that represents this. So since Andy and Bob's scores each follow normal distribution, that means that the difference between their scores will also follow normal distribution. So here is our model. Right smack dab in the middle is the mean, the difference that we expect between Bob and Andy, and that's negative 15. Now the question though is where does zero fall? Because we're trying to find the probability that the difference is greater than zero. That's negative 15, where's zero? Well, zero is obviously going to be to the right, but where exactly is it going to be? And that's why we need to calculate its z-score. So the z-score for zero can be found by subtracting the mean. So we're going to subtract the negative 15 and then divide by the standard deviation. And this is where we get positive 0.447. So somewhere right around here, not even a full standard deviation above the mean is going to be that spot where zero falls. So somewhere right around there is where zero falls. And anything greater than zero means that the Andy score must have been bigger than Bob's because if Andy scores bigger, A minus B is going to result in a positive number, meaning Andy did bigger. And anything over here below zero is where Bob does better. Notice that that section is a little bit bigger because, well, Bob's supposed to do better. So now we're going to go to our calculator or technology or a Z table to figure out the probability that a Z score is greater than or equal to 0.447. And using technology or Z table, we find out that the probability that a Z score is greater than 0.447, which is zero on our distribution, is 32.7%. So there it is. The probability that Andy does better than Bob is 32.7%. Pretty good problem.